Hi guys, this is going to be a quick uh, troubleshooting uh, method that you can utilize to um, find the problem that's causing an error message that's about to pop up on my uh, magnet field over here. Magnet field will say that it cannot uh, get to a modem. So the modem does not respond, message shows up, and then it also says the frequency list cannot be received. Please check radio baud rate in the configuration wizard. And typically what this means is there's either horrible hardware failure on the radio, which is very unlikely, or you just have the settings uh, incorrect. So you can hit close over here because you can't do anything about it. There's nothing in the drop down. This is where all the frequencies should be. But uh, what you can do is either go into the home screen, go into your configure tab, go into survey and check under your configuration that you have selected. Go into edit and actually go into every to the next tab to the tab where it says radios. So it says base radio and depending on the one that you were actually connected to you may want to instead of choosing a baud rate just go auto. If you hit auto typically that fixes it. So we'll say hit next and we'll do the same thing on the rover configuration too. So I'll change this to auto, hit next and then I don't have to change anything beyond this point. So we'll just hit the green check, green check, go home. And you can see that my GPS that is actually sitting in front of me disconnected because it's going to have to be reconnected again. So we'll hit reconnect. I'll say reconnect to the last Bluetooth device, which we just re uh, connected from. So I'll hit connect. It'll say Bluetooth connected. Bluetooth connected. There we go. And at this point, the same screen that failed before should give us baud rates because uh, us having had the wrong baud rate in there and actually forcing it uh, restricted the software from being able to query these frequencies but now I'll pick the one that I actually want and hit start radio and that will actually set the right um, frequency on uh, the rover uh, radio that I'm connected to. Now if this happens, this is something that I've seen happen frequently afterwards, you just hit close and do this again. Sometimes you have to do it twice, the second time you'll see it'll actually work. Uh, I think it's just the software running too quickly or um, going through the settings too quickly, but hitting start over here will uh, now successfully start the radio and actually configure it to the correct baud rate or baud rate in this case uh, frequency. So this is okay. So that first error message doesn't always happen. Well, when it happens, just do it again. And it now is uh, on that frequency that you wanted it to actually be at. Now you can proceed to do anything else. If you want, you can stop the video over here and you can uh, move on and actually move with this uh, and, and see what's going on. But if you want to go a little bit deeper into it, I recommend uh, pulling up your Topcon receiver utility. And this is something that I recommend having on your desktop computer or your uh, field data controller also, because what you can do is over here, you can actually go into your device, going to your modem managing mode and hit connect. And under Bluetooth, what I'll do, I will connect to the same receiver that we just uh, connected to in um, magnet field. I don't have it selected here, so we'll hit add. We'll find it. Oh, there it is. There's my receiver, so we'll hit OK, OK, OK. It's an internal on serial, serial C that's on the Hyper-V Topcon GPS receiver. Connected. It'll connect over here. And all this does is this utility actually tells you what the baud rate of the internal radio is to set in magnet field. And uh, th this is useful, especially when you're using auto or you're having a lot of problems and trouble with configuring your radio. So I'll go back into, I'll go into settings right now. It tells me all of my information, but in the settings tab right here, this is where this baud rate, you can change it, don't, but you can change it to something else. And as soon as you change it, uh, you can, you will have to hit this the green uh, circle over here, which will um, record and save the settings to the unit. So you can see that you can actually change your channels in here. You can also tell it that it's supposed to be a transmitter, which means a base or a, uh, a rover, PDL, in all of these modes over here. But again, it inherited the correct settings in magnet field, but you might have had the wrong baud rate over here. So if you ever need to switch 
the actual baud rate on the unit uh, itself internally all you have to do is switch it over here to that and hit the little uh, red dot and then uh, make the appropriate change in magnet field but otherwise I'll leave this setting over here that's why it actually didn't work but we'll leave that save it save these settings they are correct and once you're done you also always want to gracefully disconnect so I'll hit connect and disconnect that way it'll close communications with the, the modem uh, drop the Bluetooth connection and now you can close out of um, top can receive utility and switch back to magnet field and hope that uh, your problems are solved all right if you have any questions and comments leave them below